Hello everybody, this is Legendary Lou, and we have another game night coming up Thursday, March 23rd, right here at the Thrillopad, and we uh, would be pleased to have you come over. The featured game of the evening, of course you can bring your own games, obviously. The featured game that I wanted to uh, uh, have everyone play and give their thoughts on is one we've played before, is Showdown Poker. Uh, from Lowe's Company, I believe. Uh, yeah, yes, Lowe Company. And from 1971. And this is a poker dice uh, game that combines poker dice with um, but the, some of the, uh, the strategy of Scrabble. So we're going to teach you exactly how it's played. Okay, so here is the rundown. Um, Showdown Poker has 15 wooden dice, and they have um, playing card faces to them in all four suits, and from eight all the way up to ace. Uh, there are no cards lower than an eight. So um, uh, it's eight all the way up to ace. It also has, it also does have, uh, it also um, will have some jokers as well, as you can see right there. Now, uh, basically, what you want to do is you roll the 15 dice and you want to create a rank and file um, crossword type deal in which you lay down poker hands uh, with no more than five cards in a row and trying to get the highest poker hands that you possibly can. Um, the, the lid of the box, the back of it, has, as a reminder, a listing of the poker hands and their numerical scores. The highest poker hand would be five of a kind uh, for 150 points. Because there are, um, uh, be because you are able to roll five of one type of card in this particular game because it is uh, dice. All right, five of a kind all the way down to one pair. So um, what you want to do is you roll the dice and then you have this here timer which is right conveniently um, on an upright stand that turns over when, um, when you roll the dice. So I'm going to roll the dice here. And you get a whole bunch of uh, different wonderful combinations there. I see a couple of jokers, three jokers actually. So this is a pretty, pretty useful hand. Now, um, you, of course, uh, turn the, the uh, timer over and you get to playing. Now, on the board, there is a start point right in the middle. Um, any of the cards, any of the dice that you lay down, have to hit the start, uh, have to hit the start space. And you can go, of course, like I say, rank or file, doesn't matter. Um, and you'll notice on here there are double uh, there are double spaces and triple spaces just like in Scrabble and that's kind of uh, pretty self-explanatory where of course if you uh, have a poker hand that lands on a double or a triple you add up the score and you double it or triple it. Okay. Um, what's really kind of neat about this particular game is that it also has optional spaces that you can use with the card and suit listing. So there's the ace of spades there, there's nine of hearts there. Um, and so what you so what you could do is um, is use that particular space as is 
or you could cover it up, it's your option. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to play this hand, and right now I have, um, let's say I wanted to, to use it. I'm, I'm not going to, uh, I, I wouldn't want to use it uh, in particular on this hand, but, um, or, or let's say um, there's a king of hearts here, let's go for the king of hearts. So I've got a king right here, king of hearts that I want to use. Uh, here's a 10. I want to try and get um, a, um, a royal flush. So let's go with a 10, jack. Let's use a joker that I can use as queen of hearts if I want to. And king of hearts. And I don't have an ace of hearts here but I will use another Joker as the Ace of Hearts, okay? Um, by the way, if you, uh, if you use this as a Queen of Hearts, if you use this as an Ace of Hearts, those cards and face, uh, those cards and suits have to remain the same if you do any, um, uh, any uh, crossing with them. So uh, any further hands that cross here, um, this has to remain an Ace of Hearts, this has to remain a Queen of Hearts. Okay, so, I would have to use in the allotted amount of time, I think it's about three minutes or so, I would have to lay down as many, um, poker hands, good poker hands, best poker hands as I possibly can within that time period. So let's say I, uh, did this, it's a, um, uh, uh, a Royal Flush. Uh, Ace, King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, and Ten of Hearts. And under here is a triple score. So when this is all done, uh, you refer back to the box and see the Royal Flush is 100 points. So 100 points tripled is 300 points. So that, uh, that move will get me uh, 300 points. Now let's say, um, let's say going from here, well, you know, I, I don't have uh, too many options as far as the, the queen goes, or the, the ace goes, but let's say um, I wanted to, let's say, do a, um, across here, using this ton of hearts, let's say I wanted to make a, um, what am I? What am I thinking of here? Um, full house. <laughs> Duh. Can't remember my uh, my hands here. Uh, you'll notice that there is a space here for uh, for the nine of clubs, but like I say, that's optional. You can cover it if you wish. Um, I'm going to cover it in this case to make a full house queens over tens and have a triple score for there. So. That's going to give me a score of 25 points tripled, which would be 75. All right, let's see what else I have. Got a uh, jack up here with 10. Uh, let's see, jack. I've got some uh, a pair of a uh, pair of nines left, a pair of jacks left, an eight and a king left. <coughs> Excuse me. So I could try and do say another full house right here and uh, double it say using um, just for the sake of getting this uh, quickly done three jacks there's a jack on the board here jack of hearts two more jacks queen oops queen and to turn this back over uh, queen here and let's say cover this ace and use this as another queen. Doesn't matter what what's do. Let's say queen of clubs. So there's once again um, a full house, uh, jacks over queens, and wow, well, jacks over queens. What do you know? Um, Won't the king be mad? Anyway, uh, and double score right under the jack here. So that is 25 double this 50. I've got the uh, the last the last four here, so I might as well try and use as much as I can here. Here's a king. One, two, three, four, 
five, we'll use the, the last ones here for a two pair double scored. Um, two pair double scored would be uh, five points doubled, which would be ten. So, oops. In this particular hand, assuming assuming I could get it done within a timer, of course, um, had 300 here, I uh, had. Uh, let's see, 300 plus 75 plus uh, 375, 375, and uh, 425 plus, uh, let's see what I say, two pairs, 10 points uh, doubled, uh, 425, 435 points would have been, um, would have been the score for this particular hand. It's not too bad, not too bad. Um, anyway, but that's the basic overall um, uh, overall play with that, um, with uh, with um, uh, showdown poker. There may be hands in which you will not use all all the dice. That's very normal. Although it's probably recommended that you try and use as many of the dice as possible. Okay. Anyway. Um, if you stop over on uh, Thursday night, March 23rd, we'll play <clears throat> play a few rounds of Showdown Poker and get your feelings on it. So come on over. We start at 4 o'clock with um, kids' games and 7 o'clock for adult games, but you are uh, welcome to come at any time between 4 and 11. Um, and uh, we'll play it by year. If we don't have any kids before seven, then we can start adult games early. Um, but um, but we kind of do that in order to accommodate um, any kids who might come over, and we give uh, you know kids games here too. So, all right. Thanks a lot. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.